Stacy with Sit Stay with Stacy Slade, and I have Hazy here with me. Wanted to share a little bit about how I create routines with my dogs and how they're so important. So a couple routines that I have that my dogs know about very much so is when I feed them. You probably are the same. You have meal times each day, and when I do meal times, my dogs are taught to lay nicely and wait for me to finish the meal. If they do anything but, I stop making the meal, I show them what I want them to do, and I wait for them to do it. So in the beginning, as you can imagine, with a little puppy, it's a challenge, but they eventually do learn what you're asking. So through the course of your day, you have other routines. For me, I put my dogs in the dog run when I go out. So I learned a long time ago, if I reward my dogs for going in the dog run, they'll run in the dog run. I have a couple clips I'm gonna show you of those two routines that Hazy has learned awesome. Didn't take her very long to realize she always gets a really yummy cookie and some nice treats when she gets in the dog run. So she started to take off at a dead run whenever we go to the dog run. I show her my treats and she goes and runs. So you'll see a little bit of video of that. The other two hang back. They're not as exuberant as she is. Um, her grandfather was uh, awesome at sprinting to the dog run to get his treat. So it just depends on the temperament. But my other two know that they're gonna get a treat so they come with me out to the dog run instead of me chasing them all over the yard trying to say, hey, it's time to go. Especially when it's time to go, I need them to get in the dog run. Same goes for mealtime. Hazy gets a massive reward of her meal in a bowl when it's time to eat. So she knows she gets fed in her crate. She goes spinning and running to my bedroom to get in her crate. Even the, I'll show two, two videos of that. One is where her crate was for the first six weeks of her life, and or six weeks of weaning anyway. And she goes spinning and running in there. She actually still runs in there and I just moved her crate into my bedroom. And she still goes into the other bedroom and then she runs across the hallway and goes into my bedroom into the crate in there. So she knows if she gets in her crate, she'll get her food. So if you keep routines, the thing about puppies and this is the same thing for sleeping routines, for getting in the car routines, everything. The more you keep it consistent, the more you ask the same thing of a puppy every single time, the more they'll do it. Hazy, come! And so it becomes something where they'll, come here, Hazy. Come here, kiddo. They'll, they will do it every time you ask them. Yay, good girl, good calm. So when I, when I call Hazy, I always have a cookie. So she knows she gets rewarded by coming to me. It's a routine and I've set it up to where she's successful every single time. I know I can reward her for doing something. So getting in the run, they get a big treat every single time. Getting a come every single time they get a food. She goes in her crate, she gets meal time, so she's really happy in her crate. So I create those routines and the same for what I was saying for sleeping is if you get up at the same time every day, that creates a routine that they can expect. If you change it up and it's different times or different people do different things, it's gonna be harder to train your puppy to that routine. So just keep that in mind. If multiple people are involved, which many people have lots of kids, lots of people in the household. So learning how to keep things consistent will help your dog potty train. You take them out the same way, same place in the yard, same door, Say, you know, consistently every 25 minutes in the beginning as you, you know, prolong it out as they get older, but it's very, very consistent. You can't expect them to go running to a different door to go potty. And if you start taking them to a different door, they get confused and it puts your training backwards. The more consistent you do something, the same thing every single time, the easier and faster your puppy will learn it. So love to hear what routines you've set up for your puppies. Come here, Hazy. She's knocking the camera around. Come here, Hazy. If she, I'd love to hear what routines you guys have for your dogs and how they've responded. If you have any questions, let me know. But uh, please subscribe and uh, I'm happy to do more puppy videos. Let me know what you guys are looking for. And uh, Hazy and I are happy to do them. So happy training. Go, go, go. Good job. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Quick shot of the three of them before we go out to the dog run. I've shown them all that I have treats. And now we go out the door. I apologize for the movement, but this is the best way I can show this. All right, well, we're just going to work with Deuce and Hazy because 
Chase just went back in the house. Okay, go get in your run. So Hazy's jumping on me. There she goes. Go, 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 go. Yeah, so she knows if she runs to the run, go get it. Go, 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 go. See, she's on a mission. She knows that she gets treats when she gets to the dog run. So I've created a routine by her get, always getting one of my jerky treats, chicken jerky treats, and getting into the dog run. Yay, Hazy! So she loves her little cots and she goes and runs on her cots and chewing her treat. And Deuce knows it too. He wants his. And uh, that's how I get my dogs into the dog run on their own.